Determining the right price for your retail products is a difficult task. Price items too high, and you might lose business. Price them too low, and you lower your profit margin. So, how do you incorporate different data sources to analyze historical pricing trends and make predictions on future demand? Today, we'll show you how using Google's Data Cloud. There are lots of different data sources that can help you understand how to optimally price items. You might have information on transactions, details on products like categories and list prices, and data on the customers themselves. However, the data required to drive pricing insight is often disparate, potentially coming from different systems with their own formats. One way to make working with these sources more effective is to combine key attributes into a single cleaned and standardized schema, which we'll refer to as the Common Data Model, or CDM. In this tutorial, we'll use Data Prep by Trifecta to standardize data coming from different sources and unify the necessary fields in the CDM table, which will live in BigQuery, our fully managed scalable data warehouse. Once data is formatted for analysis, we'll show how analysts can explore historical trends to understand the impact of prior pricing changes. Additionally, we'll use BigQuery's machine learning capabilities to create predictive models that estimate future sales. Finally, we'll use the output of these models within a Looker dashboard to create what-if scenarios where business users can analyze what sales might look like with certain price changes. So let's jump in. Inside of Data Prep, you create flows, which represent a data pipeline. Within this flow, we have connected each of our data sets. In this case, we're using Google Sheets and a table containing our customer descriptions in BigQuery. But you can connect a variety of different data sources including flat files, transactional databases, and SaaS tools like Salesforce. You might notice that we have one transaction file for each month, representing the orders that were placed in that period. The first thing you'll want to do is combine those files. In data prep, you use recipes to transform and join data together. Opening this recipe, you can see that there are actually two things happening. First, we're unioning or combining the transactions data into one single set. But then we're standardizing customer descriptions. This is because the names of customers are sometimes misspelled or represented differently across transactions. But with data prep, you can use a fuzzy matching algorithm to standardize customer names with similar strings where values with characters in common are clustered together, or pronunciation, where values that sound alike are clustered together. This way, we make sure customers are represented consistently. Outside of the transactions recipe, we have other recipes to calculate accurate pricing using functions that pivot, aggregate, and join to customer data. And, a recipe that automatically reformats the prepared data structure to match the existing CDM table schema using Data Prep's rapid target functionality. Finally, the CDM is pushed into BigQuery. And not only can we manually run this flow, but we can also set it to run on a scheduled basis. So the CDM table is always fresh. With our prepared data in BigQuery, we're ready to take a look at what's happened historically when we've changed the price of an item. Here, we're using standard SQL to create a temporary table with one row for each price change. And it contains relevant information like the total number of orders at the current price point compared to orders at the previous price point. With this temp table in place, we can do things like look at the average price change or see how sales have changed relative to the price difference. Now that we have historical analysis squared away, 
Let's incorporate machine learning to predict what will happen in the future. With BigQuery ML, we can build an ARIMA model, one of the most widely used approaches for statistical forecasting with time series. And this will use historical sales for each product to predict the future demand, all in just a few lines of SQL. How cool is that? So using BigQuery, we're able to draw insights from huge amounts of data in no time. But to empower business decision makers, we want to create a report accessible by the broader team. This is where Looker comes into play. With Looker, we create a data model using Looker's semantic layer, LookML, that stores the definitions of our metrics using SQL. Looker uses this model to compile and send SQL queries back to BigQuery on behalf of non-technical users. This means we take full advantage of the power and intelligence that BigQuery offers, all while giving business users the ability to explore governed data without needing an analyst to write SQL for them. With our LookML model in place, we can build out a dashboard to influence pricing decisions here, we've built a report that surfaces historical trends, building off of that temp table we created earlier. And because Looker compiles SQL on the fly, we can drill all the way to SKU level detail from any tile. Scrolling down on the report, we've also created a what if tool, where decision makers can see what might happen if they change the price of products. For example, if you wanted to see what would happen if the order volume went down to 75% of the predicted value and pricing across all products was raised by 25%. And the best part, this is all just the beginning. There are lots more ways that Google Cloud can help you optimize your retail pricing, like leveraging geospatial analytics features to see how the proximity of competitors impact sales, or incorporating publicly available data like weather and search trends into your analysis. So if you're interested in learning more about Google's data cloud, then make sure to check out the links below, including a step-by-step -step tutorial of what we showed today.